at 6:30 for the eighth straight day. Protesters taking to the streets in South Florida to call for change in Cuba. Good evening, I'm Carly Barnett. The support for freedom in Cuba has been overwhelming in South Florida as rallies take place in both Miami-Dade and Broward counties. CBS 4's Jessica Vallejo has the latest from Tropical Park today. Jessica. That's right, Carly. Well, today marks one week since those Cubans took the streets in Cuba. And what you're seeing right now are actually children here. This is Ninos for Cuba that are out here. This is Tropical Park. Walk with me this way. You'll see there's a large crowd here, about hundreds of people. And as I mentioned earlier, there are children here that have been holding signs saying SOS Cuba, freedom, and we stand for those children. Now, the person who planned this was a mother who said she couldn't watch those videos of the Cuban government pulling out children and teenagers at midnight, forcing them to join the Cuban military. Take a listen. Um, as a parent, I can't even imagine them pulling these kids out of their houses to be in the military, to be the front line. I can't imagine my 10-year-old just having to think about that alone is what, what, why I'm standing here. I want to be able to take them to a free Cuba one day and show them the town where their grandparents grew up. I want them to know that we, that we see them, that we, we're here to help them. We want Cuba to get freedom and we want them to like stay safe and we want to stop the communism. What does your sign say? Uh, my sign says born free thanks to my visa abuelo. And back out here at Tropical Park, these are two children right now coloring the Cuban flag. But actually, let's take you to this Cuban video that we found. They sent it to us on social media, and it showed somebody screaming freedom on the streets. And when they did that, the Cuban military pulled over and began beating a man. And that man said, please don't hit us. He said, we have children inside. But again, the Cuban government just continued and arrested this man. But again, back out here at Tropical Park, we have these two children painting the Cuban flag. And it just shows how many Cuban Americans here have taught their children what Cuba is and that communism is just not the way to go in Cuba. And all they want is freedom. I'm live in Tropical Park, Jessica Vallejo, CBS 4 News. Well, Jessica, what is the crowd looking like? It looks like there's quite a number of people out there today. That's right, Carly. Well, right now we see hundreds of people. It actually keeps growing and growing. But take a look once again. Hundreds here. They're holding the Cuban flag and the American American flag, which is what many people have been showing us videos of Cuba. Many of those Cuba Cuban people that took the streets, flooded the streets, have been holding the American flag because that is what they want. They see it as a sign of liberty, the land of the free, which is what Cubans want right now. They want freedom, nothing else.